and Cable Bay storms clear up the straight. This is an incredible result, a second victory in two years. I'm a Greyhound owner, trader and breeder. My life, I have been involved in them since basically birth. It started off only a couple and it just grew. The industry itself has found itself come under the lane made a lot, particularly after the RT Investigates programme. Unfortunately, a small, a very small element within the industry has tarnished everybody. Having said that, I, I did realise that some of the things were completely misleading. Like it was suggested that EPO was in every dog in Ireland. One greyhound in Ireland has ever tested positive for EPO. And there's over 80,000 dogs being tested in Ireland since that one dog was positive. Greyhounds are the most regulated canines in the world. They're microchipped, they're tattooed, they're inspected when they're 12 weeks old, they're inspected at 12 months old, they're, they're inspected every time they go racing. It's on the inside three that is Joby's bread and bean The RTA Investigates programme stated that there were 6,000 dogs uh, put to sleep. Uh, nothing could be further from the truth. And it, 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 unfortunately for us, it has been taken as gospel, even though the Irish Greyhound Board, the regulating body, didn't accept the results of the, of, of the, of the report. It's just a complete distortion. Um, when it comes to greyhounds, and particularly uh, uh, racing greyhounds, there's 10 different grades. Even the slowest dogs have a grade. So this myth that you're not quick enough and you're put to sleep, that's, that's a myth. It's more appropriate to say that they're unaccounted for just because it's not on the racing management system of the Irish Greyhound Board. You enter a dog for racing, so he appears on the actual racing management system. After a period of whatever, 12 weeks, he actually goes off that system. So take, for example, I would have a, a bitch that's after competing, and so maybe she comes naturally into season, and she's not due to race because you would generally let them uh, have their seasonal rest. So they could be off the track for the best period of four months. Nothing wrong with her, just off the track. So then she's not on the racing management system. She would be one of that 6,000. You would retire a bitch, she would be one. You would retire a dog, he'd be one. All these are reasons for adding up to the 6,000. Just because they don't appear on the racing management system of the Irish Greyhound Board doesn't mean they're put to sleep. The traceability system that's been implemented by the Irish Greyhound Board presently will highlight exactly where the dogs are and where they've went to and what number we're talking about. And the sooner it comes, the better. And this will put the 6,000 completely to bed. I don't actually know where it's going to end because the online bullying and what's going on with people with dogs, is, it's, it's shocking what's going on at the moment. It's the impact it's had on the whole industry as such. You know, sponsors have been targeted, uh, patrons have been targeted, even people that come in here in Shelburne Park uh, that work in the place. They have to walk by, uh, crowds at the gate, abusing them uh, uh, on their way to work. I, I don't think it would happen in any other walk of life. We have to be united. We have to be strong to stand up to the different attacks the industry's under presently. Owners, trainers and breeders care for their dogs. And for the public to think that they don't care is a complete untruth. If you are minding them, from their birth till they're finished racing. You just don't, you just don't wipe out them three, four or five years in the back of your mind just because they're finished racing. They want them to see them retired on a couch. They make extremely good pets because what people don't realize is that from their born till they finish racing, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, they get attention from humans. And I think more and more of the general public are beginning to realise that actually greyhounds do make great pets. It's been distressing to say the least, very distressing. And it's important that the general public get to know the full facts of what actually goes on within the greyhound industry. If you care to take the time to call to any of your local greyhound owners and trainers and see what they do for the dogs, you'll come to realise that what was shown in RT Investigates isn't a typical example of a greyhound's life. Educate yourself to the facts. If you knew exactly what was going on, you wouldn't be a bit concerned.